Hey there guys, we're going to be going to the Behemoth Trial with Chow. Now you may be thinking right away, oh this trial is super old, it's super easy, I've been one-shotting this trial for a year. Um, that's probably true, but what you're not probably doing is using a single unit to do all of it. So we're going to be taking just Chow all by himself against the hard mode behemoth trial and we're gonna go for an all mission clear so challenges challenges with this are primarily the fact that we're not using a breaker whatsoever we're not using a chainer we're not using tag chains nothing just chow standing alone against the big behemoth so we're going to magic mitigate, we're going to status immunity, and we're going to general mitigate. And Chow is, of course, using some evasion gear because Behemoth, you know, hits pretty hard physically. He also hits decently hard magically um, sometimes. Not always, but later in the fight he will be. Especially, Chow has the unique challenge in that his magical mitigation is pretty terrible in the fact that it doesn't have full uptime. While it's up, Chow is great, but there are going to be some turns where Chow doesn't have any physical mit or any magical mitigation other than stuff from auto buffing. So let's go ahead and use the shifted LB to um, put up the imperil and all that. This provides another challenge because now the boss gains 100% light resist because we hit the boss with light element. Normally, you would be dispelling this and reapplying imperils and all that on a full team, but when you've got just a single child, that's not an option. So, we're going to go ahead and do some mitigation buff. I'm sorry, not mitigation, uh, amplify buff. And then go ahead and deal some damage. Now, of course, we are not using um, any chainers, so it's a little bit tricky, but we've got it. And the boss now counterattacks with Karmic Spell and imperils us. You know, this is certainly very easy until Chow's magic mitigation runs out. Then it becomes a little bit harder. So we're going to lose magic mitigation next turn. So we're going to go back to the base form and prepare for this. So we're going to mitigate. We're going to poison immunity. And we're going to... We're probably not going to need it, but just for the absolute safety, he's going to re-raise himself. So this turn we still have magic mitigation, you know, it lasts for four turns with the five turn cooldown, so it has one turn of downtime. <laughs> also, because some turns we're not attacking the boss, the boss is going to be getting his sharpened claw buff, which is an attack and magic buff. Now this turn, as you can see, we have no magic mitigation other than the auto buff from auto shell. Other than that, we've got no magic mitt, so we're going to go ahead and just guard Chow to hopefully take less damage. Now, this is going to be pretty painful, but um, he should survive this, as you can see. <laughs> when his magic mitigation goes down, it hurts a whole lot. So he only survived because he was guarding, but he did survive, so that's all that really matters. So we're going to go ahead and put up mitigation, put magic mitigation back up, and we're going to do um, a little bit of healing, because he actually took a ton of damage that time. So let's curate himself. Okay, <laughs> 75,000 Courage, and he's in full evasion gear. Imagine if he wasn't. Okay. Thankfully, damage has gone back down again because we have um, <clears throat> magic mitigation back up. So let's go back to the shift form and start resuming dealing damage. I think he still has his Amplify. I think he does for one more turn. We'll go ahead and shift it LB. Now, this might start phase two. Nope, not quite. Not capping chains, kind of sucks. Also, the boss has big light resistance because we are using, um, uh, we're not dispelling the light resistance buff on the boss. But that's okay. All right, so let's go ahead and use Chow to, how's our magic mitigation? This is, this is the tricky part. You gotta keep monitoring that magic mitigation. Um, we've got, one more turn of magic mitigation. All right, let's go ahead and deal some damage here. And again, now this might push the next phase. It did. So now we're in the meteor phase where it gets even more dangerous. Honestly, it's really, honestly, amusingly enough, it's actually not quite that bad in the meteor phase just because 
he only meteors when you attack the boss. And the fact that he's dispelling his debuffs um, constantly in this phase, we don't really care about because we're not we're not using breaks in the boss anyway. So it's kind of like whatever. Um, so this is the last turn of magic mitigation. So we're going to refresh general. Um, we're going to do poison immunity. And I guess we'll just re-raise himself just in case something really bad happens. All right. And next turn, we're going to again guard on that turn where we have no magic mitigation at all. You see the boss sharpen claws? That's because we're not attacking the boss. Um, and it gives him a magic buff when we don't do that. Which makes him deal even more damage. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and guard this turn. Because this is going to be one of those painful turns. And we don't have any magic mitigation at all. But we didn't attack the boss. So he's not using Meteor. But he did dispel himself. Which is whatever. We don't really care. But you see the boss has the magic buff. That's from, that's from Razor Claw. Or Sharpened Claws. Because we're not uh, dealing damage to him. So we're going to go ahead and magic mid ourselves. And we don't need healing. So we're just going to do Poison Immunity. So we take less poison damage. I think that actually heals as well, though. So that's kind of interesting. Anyway, now that we have gotten through this lack of magic mitigation yet again, we're going to go back to resuming dealing damage to the boss. Thankfully, because the boss doesn't have light resist this turn, um, we should deal decent damage. I don't actually know if his light amplify is active. It should still be for more turn. So this should deal respectable damage here. Oh yeah, 20%. Very nice. So now we're in phase 3, where once again the boss um, does a lot of dispels and all that. There's the Karmic Flash. Uh, we're not worried about it the first time, but the next few turns, Karmic Flash is going to cause a problem. Uh, now the boss is casting Death on our dog as well, but we've got, we're have got we wearing Death Immunity, so that's fine. Um, how's our Magic Mitigation? Two more turns of Magic Mit. So we'll go ahead and, let's see here, we will... Start dealing some damage to the boss. Put up that, um... Oh! whoops the daisy He's got light resist, and he cured the imperil from the staff. Okay, well, good to know. I guess we can only deal damage from this point forward using his, um... His LB, because the LB imperils before damage. Which is fine. Alright, so next turn we're losing all our magic mitigation because I wish Chow had full of time of magic, but that, that's probably the biggest flaw in this kit. Uh, so we're going to general mit, we're going to immunity, and we're going to re-raise just because. Okay, and we're going to guard next turn so we can get, survive that turn of no magical mitigation at all. Yeah, normally the, the no magic mitigation isn't the biggest deal because someone in the party could probably handle it. But uh, when you've got a solo dog against Behemoth, um, it is, you know, no one can step in and cover that lack of that lack of magic mitigation. So we're going to go ahead and guard this turn. No magic mid at all this round. Oh, jeez. It hurts. It hurts so much. It hurts so much. <laughs> all right. So we're, we're, we're back in business. Let's go ahead and um, let's mitigate. Let's magic mid. And does this actually heal... It puts a barrier, but it doesn't actually help heal. No, we need we need healing because we we took a, we took a brutal beating that turn. That was really painful. Not to mention because I'm wearing evasion gear and all of this auto buffing gear, um, Chow's HP is pretty pretty low right now. Oh my god, it hurts even with the magic mitt. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and deal some. Oh jeez, this is. We don't... Oh, this is going to hurt. I might even die here. I didn't heal and I didn't counterattack very much healing either. Well, we'll see what happens. We do have a big spirit buff now from the LB, so it might be fine. We did... Oh, yeah. We've got a better spirit buff now. This is way better. Chow's um, LB... Chow's Lina Burst does a 300% spirit buff, and that is a really big deal. Um, and we got his LB back again, so we can just go ahead and LB a second time. And that should be the victory against Behemoth. It was. So, missions. We did not use any items. We did it within 30 turns. And we killed him with a Limit Burst. All mission clear with Divine Beast Chow on Behemoth. So, we're on the Esper Carbuncle. Um, and the base form is using Auto Amplify to Light Element. 
full evasion, auto general mit, death immunity, break immunity, um, blizzard orb for counterattacks, uh, shift form is auto protect and shell, more evasion, um, some LB fill, and then his own card. And we've got, uh, in the base form, we've only got 70% light resist. We probably should have had a little bit of more. I thought the boss wouldn't counterattack light when I go to the base form, but he actually did a few times. And that's why we got hit so freaking hard in the base form. I should have worn more light resist. Shift form, I'm using a lot of light resist for the light counterattacks. And then geared for damage against beast and demons. So again, in the shift form, full evasion, um, death immunity, blizzard orb for the, the self-healing counters, uh, some killers, some light resist, and there we go. So there was our divine beast chow soloing against behemoth the either the even bigger dog so small dog beat the big dog this time with all missions that was that was fun i enjoy doing kind of goofy stuff like that just for the amusement of it you know obviously you can go in there and turn one otk with like sephiroth or whatever or even older units but it was it was fun to have just one single unit solo the hard version of behemoth king or behemoth k whatever he's called uh, okay, that was for amusement. You know, don't replicate that. If you need an actual clear on this trial, please take a full team. But if you're bored and want some amusement, there's something you can do to amuse yourself. See you next time.